parole has been denied for a convicted killer. This was the first time Dror Goldberg was eligible for parole since he was found guilty of murder back in 2000. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold has been tracking this case. He joins us live from the newsroom. Robert. The daughters of Goldberg's victim received word this morning their mother's killer was not only denied parole, but won't be reviewed again for another five years. In 1998, Goldberg walked into Wigs by Andre on Wesleyan near Bissonette and killed Manuela Silverio. He also critically injured one of the store's owners, Roberta Ingrando, as well as injuring her husband, Roland. There was never a specific motive for the attack, except for a Houston ISD police officer's testimony that revealed when Goldberg was 16, a notebook was found in his backpack titled How to Kill Women. We met with Silverio's daughters earlier this week as they prepared to speak to parole board members and urge Goldberg's parole be denied. Both said they would share the enduring pain caused by Goldberg. It's very hard to <clears throat> to comprehend, to live through life without your mother, because she was our mother and she was our father. And that's all we knew. I mean, that's all we had. And then we lost her. They said it was a thrill kill. He wrote, he wrote about all this. It was, you know, his fantasy. His fantasy and his hatred to, uh, towards women. In a statement to KPRC2, a spokesperson for the parole board wrote the reasons for denying Goldberg's parole are the nature of the offense and the amount of time served is not congruent with the offense severity. Goldberg's next, next parole review date is October 2028. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC2 News. Robert, thank you.